Hello and welcome back to CineTime. My name is Lauren. For those of you just watching, CineTime is a unique collaboration between the City of Chandler and Chandler International Film Festival. It is a show that brings award-winning films straight to you. In today's film, a young inventor strives to create a time machine to win back his ex-girlfriend. In the process, he meets an engineering student who might give him the chance to create time travel. We hope you enjoy today's film, Jasper, directed by Scarlett Urbano. Stay tuned after the film for an exclusive interview with the director. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Claire, your new flatmate. You must be Jasper. Have I seen you before? I don't think so. We had a spare room. <laughs> you didn't know there was a room going in your own flat. So, sorry, did you um, did you want something? Um, I'm just I'm really quite busy at the moment. Uh, yes. Do you have a screwdriver? Lots of IKEA stuff to get through. <sighs> well, wait, you can't come in. Is that what I think it is? I seriously doubt it. Please, don't... That's a compact nuclear reactor plugged into an electromagnetic engine drive. You're trying to build a time machine. I study robotics engineering with an emphasis in theoretical physics. Imperial College London, great school. Look it up. So, does it work? I don't actually know yet. What's this? A photon extractor. It 
harnesses the light captured in a photograph, turning it into electromagnetic energy. Creating a vortex to zap you back to the time and place the photograph was taken. That's incredible. Hmm. That's weird. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> Sorry, I've work to do. Here's a screwdriver. Oh, wait. It was nice meeting you. Uh, welcome to the flat. Okay. Happy assembling. <clears throat> Good night. What? No, 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 no! What's weird? You pretty much take up that entire category. You said something was weird with the wiring. What is it? You know, time travel's impossible, right? So, um, how did you find out about the room? From a little piece of paper that said vacancy, the landlord's number on it. I found it in my textbook a few months ago. I was desperate for a place, so I called, he picked up, I signed a lease, and here we are. Is she dead? What? No, 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 that's not... She's fine. Are you saying that the person who could go down in history as the first ever time traveller is doing this to fix a breakup? Yes. Not to see the Beatles in concert or anything like that? I just need to make sure that I do things more intelligently. Right. What's the grand plan? Pop back sometime in the middle and leave myself instructions. It shouldn't be too complicated. Oh, sounds airtight. You've obviously thought this through. Have you even considered how you plan on getting back? <laughs> you could end up getting stuck there. That's what the return device is for. See, it measures how many photons I have left. And when it runs out, it zaps me straight back to the present. But it's just for insurance. I shouldn't need it if I succeed. But if you succeed, you could erase this timeline. If you disappeared, oh, that would be amazing. But horrible. You might not build the machine. If I succeed, I wouldn't need to. Have you considered moving on? Many times. But then I remember that we're meant to be. What was that? Oops. It's not responding. It's like it's gone into lockdown or something. What did you do? I don't know. I shouldn't have done that. This was a mistake. I shouldn't have asked you. 
I'm so sorry. Please, I just... Mean... Get out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't do this to me. You can't do this to me. Come on. Come on. I get you. Hey, can I have a vodka soda with lime in it and a pint of Heineken, please? Here's your beer. And here's a vodka soda, is that the one? Oh, can I have a lime in the vodka soda? Oh, thanks for that. How much? That'll be 9.45. Here you go, pumpkin. We look amazing. I think that's my new favourite picture of us. You say that every time. <laughs> We should frame it, put it on our future coffee table. Our future coffee table? Yeah. Well, I was thinking we're going to need one when we get our own place. <coughs> what? I was thinking we could move closer to Central. Really? Yeah. We could live in Hammersmith. Jasper. Or Shepherd's Bush. Jasper. Let's just have our drinks and live in the moment, shall we? Okay. To living in the moment. So, come on. Don't leave me hanging. Who are you texting anyway? <gasps> oh, God, sorry. Why would you do that? Napkins.
need to go home. What can I get you? Just a uh, water, please. Are you studying? Uni application test. Where are you thinking of? Don't want to jinx it. <laughs> I bet I can guess. Imperial College London? Definitely. It's just a guess, really. <laughs> um, it's good though, good, I hear. Um, it's hard to get into. Yeah, it is. <laughs> That's the dream, assuming I can find a cheap place to stay in London. <laughs> I'm not worried. No? If I'm meant to be there, that's exactly where I'll end up. Well, good luck then. I'm sorry about earlier. It was you, wasn't it? You left that piece of paper in my book. Oh my god. It worked. Did you get her back? It, um, it wasn't meant to be. Well, maybe we can't change the past, but what's the point in having a time machine if you can't have a little fun?
I hope you enjoyed the film Jasper as much as I did. As promised, we have an exclusive interview from the director Scarlett Urbano from San Diego, California. I'm Scarlett Urbano. I am the writer, director, and editor of Jasper. Jasper is about a young inventor who wants to go back in time to try to get back his ex-girlfriend. I started out in film when I was 14. I went to a boarding school called Idlewild Arts Academy. And, you know, I was in the film department and I started out as an art director, script supervisor, a runner, um, and I got to produce little short films along the way. And it wasn't until my senior year that I actually wrote and directed my first movie. What inspired me to create this film were uh, shows like Doctor Who, um, Steven Spielberg from the 80s, and movies like Back to the Future. Um, yeah, and I, th I think it does have a little bit of a Stranger Things, things feel to the image. I think another film that really inf influenced me in the writing was Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. And in terms of life experiences that influenced me, uh, I think heartbreak is a big part of... It's a rite of passage, I think, for many young people. So it's something that I, I'd always wanted to tackle in writing and directing. So it was a nice thing to explore as an artist. I think the biggest challenge was to find the right Claire. We went through like 50 girls and, you know, it was uh, Matilda Howe's first movie. So she, she was fresh out of drama school and she didn't have anything on her resume, but there was something about her headshot that was, you know, we were like, we have to call this girl up. So we gave her a chance, she came in and she blew us away. Another one was, another challenge was getting the funding and having to create a realistic time machine to sell the story with no money. Uh, luckily we had a, we found a prop house in London that, you know, let us borrow stuff for free. So that was awesome. And I think the funniest thing that I can remember on set was <laughs> Uh, me being so tired during one of the takes that I, you know, the assistant director yelled out, roll cameras. Everyone was ready. <laughs> and I was in my own head and I just yelled out, cut, before the take even started, instead of action. So that was embarrassing. If I had a time machine, I would go to mid 1800s France. I would love to see the Victorian times uh, and maybe seek out Victor Hugo and ask him about his process about writing The Hunchback of Notre Dame and Les Miserables and things like that. <laughs> I'd, love, I'd like to say thank you to the Chandler Film Festival for giving Jasper a chance like this. And yeah, I hope people enjoy it. Thank you, Scarlett, and thank you all for joining us today on CineTime. For more information, please visit us at our website. See you next time on CineTime.